Today I wanna to share with you what I think are the two very best eye creams on the market over the counter that you can just go out and buy for aging skin. So this would be great for people who have fine lines, if you have crepey skin around your eyes, if you are concerned with hyperpigmentation around your eyes, if you have puffiness, one of these has an ingredient that can be helpful with that. I think a lot of people who are my age, if you're in your 40s, if you're 50s, 60s, 70s, you really need an eye cream that is going to treat the skin around your eyes. If you are younger than that and you really just want some hydration around your eyes, you notice that they're a little bit dry, maybe a little bit dehydrated, you can really just use your facial moisturizer around your eyes. There's absolutely no reason to get a separate eye cream that is just going to moisturize the skin around your eyes. You don't need anything special for that. And for a very, very long time, I have said, just use your facial moisturizer. You don't actually need an eye cream. I feel like in lots of cases, it's kind of a cash grab by companies. They put you know, a little bit of product in a smaller tube, they double the price, and they charge you for virtually a facial lotion in a tiny tube and mark it for your eyes. These are different than that because they contain a form of vitamin A. Now, if you're not familiar, when we're talking about vitamin A, we're talking about retinoic acid in the active form. So that would be tretinoin or retin-A. Or in the inactive form, we would be talking about retinaldehyde, retinol, retinol palmitate, retinol propionate. One of the retinols is over the counter. You can get it without a prescription and it is the best thing that you can use on the skin, around the eyes, in a gentle, low concentration to affect change in that area. Now, some people might say, well, why not just use the vitamin A that I'm using on my face and just put it all around my eyes? In some cases that could work depending on the facial product. If the facial product that you're using has a very, very weak form or a little tiny amount of retinol, let's say, it might be just fine around your eyes. But there's a very, very good chance that the cream or the lotion or the serum that you use on your face that contains a vitamin A will be too harsh for the skin around your eyes. That's why it's really great to get an eye cream that contains a retinoid that is formulated for the delicate skin around the eyes. So when I'm searching for an eye cream for myself personally, I am after not only puffiness, but I'm also after the crepey skin slash fine lines, hyperpigmentation, the whole gamut. So for me, the best one is going to be this one from La Roche-Posay. This is the Redermic R. Now, the reason why I really like this one, you guys, this has retinol in it. Retinol is a form of vitamin A. It is a derivative of vitamin A, and it takes some enzymatic conversions in your skin to become active. However, retinol is, you know, it's like 80% weaker than the active form Retin-A or Tretinoin or Retinoic Acid, but that's actually really fine around your eyes. You do not need to go in guns blazing around your eyes with the active. You can cause irritation that way. You can cause that delicate skin to get really, really dry. And then ultimately it just actually makes the area around your eyes look worse and none of us are going for that. So I really like this one because of the caffeine, because of the retinol, and it also has glycerin. Glycerin is actually an ingredient that's gonna help with hydration, it's gonna help with moisture, it's going to help to kind of make the area look softer and smoother and just look nicer. So that is the La Roche-Posay Redermic. Now it comes in this little tube, and this is one of those products that you can literally find, you can find it online of course, but you can also usually find it places like Target, you can often find it at you know, Walgreens or some of the stores like that, like CVS, you can find it in places like that. It's a lightweight lotion that soaks in pretty quickly and is easy to wear both morning and night. And remember, it's actually okay to use retinol during the day. It is a myth that retinol is not okay during the day. It's perfectly fine both day and night. Tretinoin or retinoic acid, Retin-A, that would be the one that you only want to use at night. But retinol, totally fine during the day. So that is the La Roche-Posay Redermic R. Now the next one that is actually probably a better eye cream, but it doesn't contain the caffeine, is going to be by Aven. This is the Aven Physio Lift Eyes. Now this one actually contains retinaldehyde. Now that is the closest that you can possibly get to Retin-A slash Tretinoin slash Retinoic Acid 
over the counter without a prescription. So technically this one from Aven is going to be the best eye cream that is on the market for aging skin period. It is definitely, it has the right form of vitamin A. It is fragrance free. It has some really great ingredients that are hydrating and going to help with smoothing out the skin and just making the skin look a little bit better. Now this one is more like a balm. You can see it's a little bit heavier almost. See how that is? So it also kind of depends on your preference in the way that an eye cream would feel. This is definitely a little bit heavier, a little bit more of a balm, whereas the La Roche-Posay is much slippier, much thinner, much more like a lotion slash silky. So they have a different texture to them as well. Now, the difference with this one versus the La Roche-Posay is it doesn't have that caffeine. So literally the way that I would choose is if you do not have puffiness and you do have fine lines, if you have hyperpigmentation, if you have crepiness, I would say this one all day long. Now this is not to be confused with this one from Aven. This is called Retronal eyes. This one is the exact same ingredient deck as the Physio Lift. They're the same product. What I have found is that you can usually find the Physio Lift for several dollars cheaper. They literally have the same ingredient deck. So if you are on the hunt and you love this Retronal, then you might like the Physio Lift because they're the same product. They, they have the same packaging, everything. They are just... They're the, they're the same. They're just named two different things. They both have a glycerin and then they also have sodium hyaluronate, which is a hyaluronic acid essentially. So it has a humectant, it has a moisturizer, it has that retinaldehyde. And again, remember, retinaldehyde is the closest that you can get to a prescription retinoid without, without a prescription. It is the closest. And it's really, really hard to find in an eye cream. So the fact that Aven has it and they're also fragrance free is fantastic. Something else that's really important to know about retinaldehyde versus retinol is that retinaldehyde is actually less irritating than retinol and it is more potent. So if you have sensitivity around your eyes and you know you want to get a vitamin A in, so you've been looking at a bunch of eye creams that have retinol in them, I would really, really consider using a retinaldehyde instead. And also consider you know checking the ingredient deck for things like fragrance, for citrus peel oils, for things that are known irritants, avoid those at all costs around your eyes if you have sensitivity. Now, like anything, you definitely need to be using sun protection around your eyes. So you don't need a dedicated sun protection for around your eyes. Just make sure that when you are using your SPF on your face, that you put it all around your eyes as well. If you find that your SPF that you're using on your face irritates your eyes, change your SPF. It's more important that you use that SPF around your eyes than it is that you like it and you, you know, you use it all over your face, but you don't put it around your eyes. The sun is definitely the biggest problem when it comes to those fine lines those, you know, that hyperpigmentation, all of the stuff that's going on, I would attribute a lot of it to sun exposure. So we definitely wanna be protecting that delicate eye skin from the sun as well. I recommend that you look into mineral sunscreens because those are the least likely to actually irritate your eyeballs. For years and years and years, I have been recommending this one from Sukiyaka Suhada. It is still hands down my favorite go-to just all around hydrating eye cream. It uses urea to hydrate. So urea is a humectant, a lot like sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid, only urea is a smaller molecule that tends to hydrate a little bit longer, stick around a little bit more. It's just a better humectant in my opinion. And I love this one. However, again, this is just a hydrating eye cream. It's just a humectant. It's gonna make the superficial layer of your skin look nicer, but it's not really doing anything at the cellular level to change or make change in the skin around your eyes. I hope that this was helpful. I tried to take all the eye creams that I've been testing, that I've been researching, all of that, and I wanted to narrow it way, way, way down as to not overwhelm you with tons and tons and tons of recommendations. 
to me, these are the two best recommendations on the market if you have, you know, those aging concerns. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you'll subscribe before you go. Follow me over on Instagram and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.